Hi, my name is Aaron Adams. I'm a captain paramedic in one of the top 10 largest departments in the country. We run a multitude of calls from fire to EMS to car wrecks. And we're the Swiss Army knife for the community. So on anyone's worst day, we're the ones they're going to call. Safety and accountability of my crew is the biggest issue that we have with nighttime operations. If I can't see my surroundings 100%, I can only see the 50, 40 feet in front of me with my flashlights. It kind of puts me at a disadvantage and it kind of puts me on edge. My crew is now focused in on serving somebody who's just been injured. Someone's gotta be watching our surroundings and watch what's going on around us. So I think the night vision would be very beneficial on most EMS calls at night, and especially in low lit conditions. The ability to see down that alleyway, to see behind that building, to see down the hallway of, a, of an apartment building and recognize what's happening before I commit six of my first responders in that environment would be game changing. Situational awareness is an integral part of our daily lives. No matter whether we're going to a fire call or an EMS call, a car accident, a shooting, situational awareness is what keeps my guys safe. So being able to see is one of the number one components and able to maintain situational awareness for first responders. We had a couple of kids the other day on a, on a mountain in, in Arizona that went out in the middle of the night, thought it'd be kind of neat to take sunset pictures on top of this mountain. And as the sun came down a little too much, they kind of got lost coming down the mountain. They called their cell phone, 911, hey, we're lost in the mountain, we can't find our way down, it's too dark out. Luckily that they were able to call their cell phone, their cell phone still had battery, so that ping was live. We were able to triangulate their coordinates, walk right up the trail, snatch them, not hurt, just lost. So we were able to put them back on trail, get them water, make them sure they're calm, and then safely carry them down the mountain. 